Um, I was a little bit thrown back because I didn't know what was going on. But then until I seen her face, I knew exactly who she was. Laura Loomer, there's a lot of stuff going on with her. And um, I believe people need to see this clip here. So when it comes back, I get your get your take on what's going on with her and um, what we can expect. So here we go. Alrighty. My name is Laura Loomer. As many of you may have heard, I was permanently banned from Twitter for life on November 21st, 2018, in another example of collusion by big tech giants to censor conservative voices. What was my offense? The tweet that Twitter decided to ban me for was a tweet full of facts about Sharia law. It was a tweet directed at Ilhan Omar, which pointed out that her support of Sharia law does not make her an ally for gay people, women, or Jews as Twitter would like you to believe. This is the tweet that earned me a lifetime ban. Quote, isn't it ironic how the Twitter moment used to celebrate women, LGBTQ, and minorities is a picture of Ilhan Omar? Ilhan is pro-Sharia. Ilhan is pro-FGM. Under Sharia, homosexuals are oppressed and killed. Women are abused and forced to wear the hijab. Ilhan is anti-Jewish, end quote. I nearly shared a fact. Yes, the truth can now get you banned for life from the internet. In America, the land of the free, and the only country on the planet with a First Amendment right. This isn't about me. It's about all of us. It's about free speech, and it's about ending all censorship. We must fight big tech together to preserve our constitutional rights. And together, we will win. Join me in changing the world. I'm Laura Loomer, and I will not be silenced. All right. Fantastic <laughs> video by Laura Loomer. And um, I could tell you that uh, there's a lot of stuff that happened today. Uh, why don't you inform us about what's going on with her? Laura Loomer is uh, an investigative journalist that uh, most people that are conservatives and paying attention are aware of. She's uh, become quite famous in the U.S. Uh, for confronting people who are anti-American, anti-Jewish, anti-Christian, um, and asking them the questions that nobody uh, that's one of those people wants to hear. She's gone after people like Keith Ellison, like Linda Sarsour. Um, in this specific case, the background for what happened today, Jermaine, is she quoted Elon Omar, um, a new member of Congress, as you well know, yeah. um, is Muslim. And she quoted uh, a number of her quotes that are truly anti-Semitic, anti-Israel, uh, pro-Sharia. And <laughs> she got banned from Twitter for telling the truth and couldn't get Twitter to talk to her about reinstating her account. Now, keep in mind, this is the real irony. Twitter is supposed to allow freedom of expression, freedom of communication, First Amendment and all that. And they keep people on like Louis Farrakhan, who's got a horrible series of hundreds of tweets calling for death and destruction to say Israel or killing uh, President Trump or killing the Jews. I mean, his most famous one from last week is I'm not an anti-Semite, I'm an anti-termite, yeah. meaning Jews are termites. Yeah. Did he yeah. get reprimanded? No, he still has a verified account on Twitter, and millions of people see his tweets every day. Uh, people in the American Nazi Party have their uh, Twitter accounts still active. Yeah. People falling for murder still have their accounts uh, active. But conservatives, are having their accounts disappearing at a terrific, and I mean that in a horrible way, horrifying uh, clip. Like Milo Yiannopoulos is off Twitter, Alex Jones is off Twitter, and now Laura Loomer is off Twitter. And all she did, literally, was tell the truth by quoting somebody. So today, uh, <laughs> Laura went to New York and had a demonstration in front of Twitter headquarters uh, in Manhattan um, yelling to anyone that would listen give me back my account America needs to know that Twitter is promoting anti-semitism 
Now, you'd wonder, well, what's the backstory? Why are they so anti-American? Why are they promoting uh, people that say anti-Semitic things, but the Jews are disappearing? Well, as Laura said in her speech today, because I saw part of it, um, by the way, she's the number one trending subject on Twitter as of airtime with us, you and I, about 45 minutes ago, so it's a big story today. Um, the number, I think, two shareholder in Twitter is Saudi Arabia. The, uh, the Arabian Investment Fund, uh, which is a rather radical investment fund, owns more Twitter stock than the CEO of Twitter. So what does that mean? Jack Dorsey, the CEO, I guess, reports to his boss, which is the um, investment fund from Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. So if your viewers are wondering how these views get to be the prevailing views on social media, well, follow the money. And that's what Laura was doing today, calling attention to the fact that there is prejudice out there, there is an anti-American sentiment, and you better not be a conservative, you better not be for Trump, you better not be pro-American values. If you're left-wing or you're crazy, you can say literally, Jermaine, almost anything, Yeah, almost anything. But if somebody reports you as Islamophobic, or similar, because that's the biggest crime on Twitter these days, you're gone. You're just gone. And there's nobody to talk to, and there's no appeal, and there's no one to sue. You know, and and that should scare everybody. It should scare everybody, including, uh, quote, unquote, these hardcore liberals that are out there. It should scare everybody because they are silencing us. They are. They are, and we can't get around it. Um... They are, uh, what, what do you call that, uh, censoring a lot of uh, conservatives when it comes to us speaking about what's going on in the nation, when we speak about what's going on with uh, Muslims and uh, Sharia. Um, one thing I know about the liberal left, uh, the liberal left does not like to attack any uh, people of color. They they think that if you're white skin and you say anything that's quote unquote uh you know truthful about people of color they 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 get you out of there i i've seen uh that's what they do they do that on facebook as well um had laura loomer been a uh maybe a black woman they would have got rid of her too as well because quote unquote that is uh 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 what they call a conservative view of uh you know of Sharia because the liberal left uh, doesn't think of Sharia the way uh, quote unquote Sharia really is they they believe that it's um, and I've heard this from a lot of liberals all that not everybody practices and believes that you know it, it, that's just written down this is the way they, they think they don't think like hey these people actually really follow it they don't think like that at all with all the genital mutilations and everything they don't think like that at all they're like hey and then we got the other flip of the coin of liberals who say you know what that is their culture leave them alone that is quite racist for you to say anything and and it blows my mind it's like when are you gonna uh stand up for american culture where are you gonna stand up for america because these people when they come here they don't uh assimilate they integrate, they keep their own culture, and then after that, they advance their own culture through our government, just like uh, Ilhan Omar. What Laura was reporting on, and has been for quite some time, Jermaine, is exactly what you just said. And if you said this, and you were white, on Twitter, you'd already be gone, my friend. I mean, your account would be gone. If you said it on Facebook, you'd be on a one-month suspension. I guarantee it. Look, Thomas Jefferson said it uh, in the 18th century, and it's as true when the, when the author of the Declaration of Independence wrote this as it is today. Thomas Jefferson said that the followers of Muhammad, or as he called them then, Mohammedans, cannot be Americans unless they stop following their own 
book, which is the Quran, because their book doesn't have any tolerance. It is not a religion of peace. It's a world domination uh, textbook. And if you read it, and I beg your people that are watching your show today, go to Amazon, get a good translation, something in plain English, and read it. Every single word is the word of the prophet from God, according to the religion, and not one single word can be changed, not one single concept yeah. can be ignored, and if you are an Islamic follower and you preach not following it, you are subject to the death penalty. I'm not joking, that's what they believe. And that's why honor killing is so prevalent around the world. Can you imagine as a normal father killing your own daughter for dating someone you disagree with? How horrible is the thought of that? Sacrificing a family member and doing it gladly. Or putting your wife up to be stoned to death. You can see stoning executions on YouTube every day. They bury a person up to their neck and all that sticks out is the water. They give them one sip of a spoon of water and then they drop stones on their head until they're dead. And that is an execution for following somebody outside of the Quranic teachings. It's horrific, Jermaine, and telling the truth about it gets you thrown off social media because you're an Islamophobe, because you're telling the truth, not because you're lying, not because you're imagining stuff, not because you're preaching the destruction of America or the death of President Trump like every celebrity seems to do every few days. Yeah. Those people are still on Twitter, and that's a felony, and they're still on Twitter. But if you tell the truth, and it's not popular, but it's the truth, you're out of here, pal. Goodbye. Shut up. We don't want to hear from you. Those are bad vibes. You, you know, and what kills me is that if you just used any common sense, Barry, you would know that you can't be for women, you can't be for gays, you, you can't be for peace or common decency if you're for uh if you're pro Sharia. I mean, wouldn't that make sense, Barry? Just just the just the mere thought of that. But it they kicked her off for that. That blows my mind. I got a better one for you. We did a, uh, Annie Cyrus and I, who is our national director of American Truth Project, uh, did a couple videos on this, and I urge your viewers to go to American Truth Project, uh, the website, and look these up. You know, findberry.com will take you to the website. Um, Sharia does not allow for voting. Uh, Sharia does not allow for democracy. Are you hearing me? So, in other words, a man voting or a woman voting for their own government and their own secular laws is illegal okay so we have Muslims who are now members of Congress who are getting sworn in not on the Bible they're not sworn allegiance to the Bible they're sworn allegiance to the Quran and that's how they're being sworn into office they have a very significant religious and moral dilemma on the day they promise to uphold yeah. the Constitution. Yeah. Because line by line, chapter and verse, the United States Constitution contradicts their training, their religious beliefs, and the dictates of their leadership within their church. And in times of conflict, the Quran says, you must choose the Quran instead of the government in which you live in times of conflict. So they can be Americans and they can participate in the American way of life unless there's a conflict. So as you said, female genital mutilation, and I don't need to tell anybody what it is, it's a horrific, disgusting, vile crime against young girls being carried out thousands and thousands of times in the United States to them is okay and to be supported and to be encouraged and to be forced upon their little girls how horrible is that and in, a, in an Islamic court you can't be convicted of anything 
in regards to that because it's okay. And what happens when you go to an American court and these various laws, I know there was one I believe in Maine last year where they wouldn't ban it because like you said, it's a cultural thing. No, it's not. It's torture and it's mutilation. And nobody asks a seven-year-old girl if she wants it. They hold her down yeah. screaming as they cut her with a razor blade. That is just absolutely crazy, crazy, crazy. And Barry, one thing I could tell you is that when they get a big population of uh, Muslims in this country, what they're going to do is, and I, I, I'm telling you, this is what they're going to do. They're going to say that, you know what, we want to be uh, under Sharia law. We don't want to be under U.S. jurisdiction, and I guarantee they will do it. The liberal, and if it's a liberal state like Minnesota here, let me tell you, Sharia law will be the law of the land because these liberals are bending over backwards and, and uh, they're not stopping there, let me tell you. So, Jermaine, uh, you're warning them. I hope they listen. You're predicting it and yeah. you're right. And, and, and I'm telling you, they, they will and they will get it. And I know they will because the that's what the liberals want that that's exactly what they want they will convert as well and you've seen the liberals converting there's been a few yeah so barry we are out of time buddy such a Great such a treat you. for you uh coming on here why don't you uh go ahead and uh tell my crowd where they can find you again here and uh where they can see all your stuff Please go to americantruthproject.org. It's easy to find. Type in two words, find Barry. That's it, findberry.com. You'll go right to the website. We have, I don't know, 400 videos there. Lots of our writing stuff going up every day. It's always free. All you got to do is sign up with your name uh, and your email address, and the stuff will start coming to you two, three times a week. We encourage you. Get educated. We're teaching you about the stuff Jermaine and I have been talking about tonight. And if you think this isn't real, you're not educated yet. You really, really need to know what's going on. Thanks, Jermaine. I appreciate the time to tell your audience about it. Absolutely. And thank you for coming on here on Conservative Nation. And ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us here tonight on Conservative Nation. I mean, it's been absolutely a fun time. Fun time, fun time. And Barry, you as well. Very fun. Thank you.